It's a blockbuster movie explosion unlike anything Queensland has ever seen. Yes! Because who needs Hollywood when you've got the COVID safe Sunshine State? This is the big leagues now, honey. Queensland secured 39 international and domestic productions since the start of last year, said to inject almost $440 million into the local economy. And that's really uh, unheard of for us to have that many projects on the go at once. The great thing is they're spread around the state. It's not only um, South East Queensland. The Gold Coast transformed into downtown Memphis for Baz Luhrmann's Elvis biopic. The Whitsundays will stand in for Bali for a Clooney Roberts rom-com. I came here for you. And in Outback Cloncurry, Survivor contestants will compete for cash. In the last year we've seen more than 5,000 jobs created across all of these productions and that's predominantly local people. Filming for kids TV series The Bureau of Magical Things on the Gold Coast was shut down during the pandemic. Everyone was very nervous and there was a very palpable sense that we might not be coming back to finish the show, that that might be it. But with the health crisis under control, nothing slowed down for long. And action! Queensland's screen boom has been a launch pad for local creatives like Rihanna Melza. She worked behind the scenes on the Thor, Dora and Elvis movies. It's really important that we keep our talent locally. Um, it's really important to build our industry here because obviously we also have, screen, uh, Queensland has a lot of its own stories to tell. Luring top tier productions to our shores during the pandemic is big business. The Queensland government will spend $35 million on incentives this financial year alone. The goal now is to keep the state front and centre. Once COVID settles down uh, and more and more places open up for shooting, then it'll become a more competitive market in terms of drawing the offshore productions. That's definitely a risk, but it's absolutely our job to grab this momentum and, and keep going. Lily Nothling, ABC News, Brisbane.